Once you've enabled reflections on your account, you'll see it at the top of your page and there's a tab. So to go to the reflections page, you just need to click on that. Once you're there, to add a reflection, you just need to click on the add reflection button in the top right hand corner. Here, the first thing that you'll need to do is give it a title. You won't be able to save your reflection without a title, but remember this can be changed at any point. Then in the reflection box, this is where you can add your actual reflection. So there are some prompts underneath to help you with this if it's your first time making one. So things to think about are, what are you thinking? Why are you thinking this? What are you going to do with it? And the, any possible theoretical perspectives that it might relate to. But don't worry about that if you're not. Then next to the reflection box, you'll see some different options. So the first one we'll look at is visibility. If you click on that drop down, you'll see that there are some different options here. The first one is visible to authors and managers. So this means you'll be able to see it because you're the one adding the reflection and any managers on the account will also be able to see it. But staff, full account and pin only accounts won't be able to see it. The next option is visible to author and all staff. So this does what it says and it means that everyone, every member of staff on the account will be able to see it. The other option is awaiting deletion and you can select that if you start a reflection and realise you don't want to continue with it. Next, underneath this, you'll see the status options. So if you click on those drop downs, you'll see that there are four different options for status. The first is not ready for discussion. So you can add this status if you've just started a reflection, but you're not ready for other staff to comment on it yet. The next option is ready for discussion. So you'll use this once you're happy with it and you're ready for it to be discussed amongst other staff within your setting. The next option is finished embedded in practice. So that's at a point where it's been discussed and it's something that you're now using within your setting. The last option is finished abandon. So you might want to use this if the reflection has been discussed, but it's something that ultimately you decide to not use in your setting. We're imagining that for the first two, they'll be part of a step process. And then once it's been discussed, you can then choose one of the finished statuses. Underneath this, there's just a created box where you can change the time and the date of the observation if you are backdating it. If we scroll down the page, the next option is children. And here you can choose whether or not you want the reflection to be linked to any children. By default, the option is does not relate to any children. But if you do want to link it, you just need to click on the is for specific children button. There you'll see a, a button appear where you can select children. And here you get a list of the children on your account. Just like adding an observation, you can select their names from the tick boxes, but you can also choose children from groups as well. So I've now got three children linked to that reflection. Now underneath this, you, if you've got page links enabled on your account, you can link your reflection to any other reflections or any observations. So it might be that you've done an observation which has sparked the need for a reflection. So it could just be you watched a child do something and you want to help them progress with that further. So your reflection will be about how you can help them do that. So you'd want to link the reflection to an observation. So to link an observation, you just need to click on the link observation button. Here you'll see a list of all of your observations and you can see their observations because they've got an eye icon next to them. You can filter your observations by children, author or assessment. So here I'm going to filter by observations made by me. Then to link an observation you just need to put a tick in that box and click done. Now here you can see the green bar now represents our reflection that we're making at the moment. Because this observation was made previously, it will show as before. If you go back to edit a reflection 
and the observations that you've been added have been added since the reflection was made, they'll say after. Then if you scroll down, you can link any photos or videos by just by clicking on the Add Files button and there you'll be able to select photos or videos if you'd like. Then in the flag section, you'll be able to see any flag sets that you've enabled on your account. To link any flags, you just need to click on the flag set. So here I'm going to click on characteristics of effective learning. And here I'll see all my flags within this set. And to choose one or several, you just need to put a tick in those boxes. And then underneath here, you'll be able to see them. The impact box might not be a box that you use when you're first adding a reflection. It was designed to show so you can write down what happened as a result of the reflection. So it's fine to leave that blank for now. Once you're done, you just need to remember to click on the save button at the bottom.